If there was a device that you can hook up and put in front of a television or in front of a cell phone, and that device would allow you to see the waves of energies coming out of these portals, these doorways, I guarantee you, you would never pick up a cell phone again or look at a television again. If they can actually show you what's actually coming out of these portals. The reason that you connect with these things is because you cannot perceive them. You cannot perceive the energy coming from the cell phone to your subconscious mind or from the television and saturating you with this stuff. You know, if there was a machine that can show you not only the energy being channeled and streamed and transmitted, but also the color of it. Not only that, the frequency and the nature of it. Like if you had some sort of glasses you can put on that would allow you to see what's actually going on where the mind couldn't perceive it, but these glasses would allow you to see it, then you'd have a completely different change of heart and a 180 degree course correction. Trust me, my friend. That's exactly what's going on here with the cell phone and the televisions, laptops, tablets, computer monitors. Any type of monitor or phone is a portal. That's all it is. It's a portal through which energies streamed from the source of origin transmission to this point of reception, which is clink, 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 your noodle. You know, imagine, like I've said before, imagine your cell phone is a, uh, a door that blocks water behind it like a dam has, and they open up those floodgates, and that water just blasts out like a, like, a, like, a, like a jet. Now, if you could see the television and your cell phone that way, where it's actually something tangible you can see, instead of clean, potable, drinkable water, it's freaking toxic, septic sludge from a sewer that's pumping out of this stuff. And I guarantee you, you would never drink from these things again, because these are invisible parasites. So this is the reason why you feel the way you feel these days, you know? So point of this video is that you got to be cognizant of where you find your attentions gravitating towards because you're going to make a connection with that stuff and become it and it will become you. So you have to rid yourself of the toxicities of these things because they are looking to do one thing, prevent you, my friend, from moving out of your comfort zone, that dark pit you're in and moving into the light to progress, renewal, expansion, growth, health, wealth, prosperity, abundance, peace, happiness, wisdom, healing, light, magic, all that stuff. The darkness doesn't want you venturing into those areas because it can't control you when you go. It can only control you when you stay in the little comfort zone that you're afraid to get out of. Just some thoughts, man.